Hello and welcome to video number seven. In this specific video, we're going to be talking about setting up your site to begin accepting leads so that you can begin to build your niche list. First of all, I'm going to give you an overview of several different autoresponders so that you can get an idea of what your options are. Now, in this specific video, we're going to be using Aweber, which is a specific autoresponder to create a list. And then I'm going to give you a quick overview of creating the follow-ups and talk about the web form creation. We're going to create the web form, we're going to grab the code, and we're going to add it to the WordPress sidebar. Now while I highly recommend that you go to Google, you go to forums, you figure out which autoresponder is best for you, In this specific video, I will recommend two different autoresponder companies. The first one is called aweber.com, and the second one is called getresponse.com. Now, both of these are great, but in this specific video, I'm going to be using aweber.com. When you first log into your account, you need to create a list. And I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. Aweber provides you with free training, a lot of videos, a lot of great stuff on how to get started. So I'm going to pretty much zoom through this so I can talk about the more important stuff, which is getting your list set up and then monetizing your list later down the road. So you want to make sure that everything is set up correctly so you can do that. So if you click on create and manage lists, this page will allow you to create a brand new list. So you want to click create a new list and you can enter the list name, the list description, the from name and the address. The from name is basically what people are going to see when they receive your email. So this could be DIY chicken coop plans then whatever your email address is we could say DIY chicken coop plans we'll just say let's see put in number nine DIY chicken coop plans chicken coop newsletter and I'm gonna say something from HQ uh, put your email address here mail at DIY chicken coop plans HQ.com and from that point on we can simply move on to the next step Make sure that you click on save settings and click on personalize your list. At this point, you can enter your company name, which could be DIY Chicken Coop Plans HQ, the website URL here. And then of course your email signature, which can be your first name and last name. And once we're done with that, click on Save Settings and click on Confirmed Opt-in. And this is basically your confirmation message. Now, Aweber is set up so you can either have a single opt-in or a double opt-in. Single opt-in basically means somebody fills out their name and email and they automatically start receiving the tips and so forth. Now, this can be a problem, if, especially if somebody enters a fake email address or something, somebody else's email address. So, to verify, you can use confirm opt in, which will require people to confirm that they are the real owner of that email address. So, this is one step further. You will lose some people, but because somebody has to take a few more steps 
in terms of an action, then they will probably really want your stuff and the people that get on your list are going to be probably higher converting. So that's a plus. So enter your confirmation message here. And when you're done, we can move on to the next step. After this, you can go to messages and follow up. This is basically where you're going to be creating follow up messages where you can begin to monetize the lists. You can begin to promote products, ClickBank products, JVZoo products, Amazon products, your own products, and so forth. Now, the first email that you send out, I do not recommend that you promote a product. You want to try to keep it, you know, as many tips as possible in the first few days. Now, I'm not talking about that right now. I'll talk more about that in video number, number eight, but I just want to make it clear this is the area where you're going to create the follow up messages. And I'll show you how to do all this in just a minute. But basically, once you create the follow up messages, you can create a web form. Now, you can always come back to this later on, add more messages as time goes on. Subscribers is basically if you want to see your subscribers who has subscribed and stuff like that. Uh, if you go under web forms, as you can see here, you can create many different web forms for a specific list. So this is a great way to test your web forms to see which one is converting the best and stick with that. If we click on create a new web form, you can see how easy it is to create a web form. Now, depending on your WordPress site and the look of your WordPress site, you may want to make sure that the design actually conforms with your design. So if your WordPress site or blog is a lot of white, you might want to stick something there that conforms with that site. Okay, so you'll notice here that it has the header, the footer, the privacy, and the powered by, which personally, I do not like all of this stuff added here. I want it to be as small as possible and as simple as possible. Now the header gives me the ability to tell people maybe what they get for free in exchange for their email address. So whether it's a free report or something else that's free or free helpful tips and things like that. Now I'm going to remove the powered by the privacy and the footer. So as you can see, I, I kind of shrank it a little bit and you can make it wider. You can make it however size you want. I try to keep it about this size. You can click on edit header and enter some text. Let's say for example, we'll say, uh, grab your free chicken coop plan below. Click on, we'll highlight that, we'll bold it, click save, and there we go. Now, I might want to center align this. There we go, and there we go. So, I'm going to make this a little bit wider. I can also change the color from that kind of blue to maybe a lighter blue like this but the words need to be black. Okay, there we go. Uh, the button here, I can change this to, I don't know, red or something. And 
Sure. Do that. Click save. Click save web form. And go to settings. And this is basically when somebody fills out their name and their email address, what do you want them to see next? If your list is a double opt-in and requires a confirmation from the user that they are the owner of the email address, then you need to make sure that you have some sort of thank you page that reminds them that, say, that says, hey, you need to click on the confirmation link in order to get whatever you've signed up for. So we're going to click on go to step three, where we actually get the code. I will install my form. So I'm going to click on this and I need the raw HTML version, which is this here. So I'm going to select all right click copy, make sure I save it to a safe location. And then I'm going to go back to the WordPress dashboard here, go under appearance and widgets. And as you can see here, we have the main sidebar and by default, you're going to have all of these widgets. So the first thing I recommend that you do is to remove these widgets. Now, if I go to the live site here, you will notice that we have the recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories, and meta. These are basically widgets and this is the sidebar. So if I remove all of these, and the cool thing is all of this is happening real time. So there's no save button or anything. If I refresh the page, you should see nothing. And there we go. Now let's say for example, I want to add the opt-in form here to do that. All I need to do is find a text widget and I am going to drag and drop it here. Simply paste the code here, click on save. We're going to go back here, refresh the page and there we go. And that's it.